Can you hear me all right, Jesse? Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry about that. I uh, I, I missed the thing about the headphones. My bad. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not doing so well right now, Jesse. Uh, um, back in September, uh, I I had to kill kill a man to, to defend some children and myself, and I've been dealing with the the PTSD and all the effects of it afterwards, and I've been trying to get help everywhere and. I, I'm just breaking down and call, calling you for some wisdom or some kind of help or something. You so know? you you had to kill a man in self defense. Yes, sir. Uh, the state of Texas uh, uh, grand jury uh, cleared me of all of all charges. It was just it was ruled a justifiable homicide. Testified by the state troopers of, or the Texas Rangers. And so, what type of help you tried? You've tried to get. I've tried counseling. I've tried uh, talking to pastors in my area, talking to family, friends. And what, what did the counselor tell you? They, they, all they really talked to me about is just mumbo jumbo stuff like breathing techniques and <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, man. <laughs> what did the preachers tell you? The just preachers just to pray, and I, I have prayed, but I, I need something more than more than just that, you know. So, what's your question for me, David? Just like, is is there any way that I'll be able to to get over this this? brokenness that I feel and all the the terror and whatnot and what type of brokenness what do you mean by brokenness what what are you feeling well I, I have very very bad post-traumatic stress disorder from from what happened and I it's affected my life in such a bad way that I'm I'm really not even the same person I was before it happened how, how old are you David I'm, I'm 21 21 uh, years old sir you're 21 Yes, sir. That's amazing. Hold on, buddy. Let me take a quick break. Don't hang up, all right? David, what does post-traumatic stress feel like? It's it's not really something I feel like I could describe with with words, in all honesty. Con but constant fear. I I can't I can't keep a job. I'm I, I stay at home. I, I'm scared of every situation, no matter what. I can't sleep without a, a oh, can't cuss. I can't sleep without a gun next to me anymore. Oh, I feel ruined, ashamed, just terrified all the time, Jesse. And what are you afraid of? The reason you can't I, I keep a job, you can't sleep, and all that. What are you afraid of? That's the thing, Jesse. I I, I really don't know. I'm. I guess maybe somebody trying to do it again and me having to do what I did again I I, I really don't know was uh, it's just it's really getting to me the lack of sleep and the the fear and all that do you have a family it's, it's, I, I I do have a family yes but like a wife and children no no sir I'm I, I do think that God has sent me sent me a woman in the last couple of days to, that's been helping me out, talking to me and whatnot, but other than that, no. So you killed this guy in self-defense, right? It had been proven and all that, right? Yes, sir. The, the Texas Rangers testified on my behalf. So why are you judging yourself for what you had to do? It's not necessarily judging myself, I suppose. It's just the, the, the fear and, like, I Rebuild the rebuilding of my manhood, if you will. But you like, didn't. I don't, I, you didn't lose your manhood. You stood up like a man. If what you're saying is true, and you did it in self defense, that's what men do. So you. Yeah, that's 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 the part I don't understand, Jesse. Is when the time came, I stood up like I was supposed to, and I defended myself and those children. But and now, when nothing's wrong, I'm in constant constant fear. Because you. Uh, it, I mean, 
you're overreacting to the situation because now you're thinking about it and Satan is telling you that what you did was wrong and, and all this stuff is going to happen and he's causing you to judge yourself and the situation. I would recommend you just drop it and go live your life because if you did this and you've been found to be innocent, it was self-defense, there's no reason for you to have post-traumatic stress disorder at all except that you're overreacting to the darkness of your imagination. Why don't you let all that stuff just pass and relax and live your life? I try, but you know how Satan is. He just keeps it, keeps at it, keeps at it, keeps at it, with putting it in your mind. Right, and but... I, I know you say ignore every thought. Yeah, every thought it's is... constant. Right. Constant, constant. Uh, only because you are paying attention to them and believing them and overreacting to them. So you're giving, you're giving the devil permission to cause you to destroy yourself. But if you, God is not judging you on it. He is not God who is reminding you of it. It's not God who will bring you fear. It's from the devil, the deceiver, and you're just believing into it. I would be grateful that I was able to defend myself, protect myself and the kids, whatever happened, and just let it go and be grateful that you're alive. Yeah, it's just, it's a hard thing. And I, like I said, I'm trying, I'm reaching out for help. Well, are you doing the silent prayer? I'm going to start to. Yeah, do the silent prayer and just doubt every thought about it and you'll be fine. All is well. You know what the sad thing is, though, Jesse? Was, the man was like a father to me. He, I helped him raise this guy. I helped him raise those kids. And one night, he gets on methamphetamine and gets something in his mind. And Oh, Lord. Well, look, just do the silent prayer and doubt every thought, and you'll be fine. Don't let Satan make you judge yourself or or feel bad about the situation, if you did what you had to do, and you, it would prove that you it was self-defense, I, I would just move on. It's just the, it's the fear, man. The, Jesse, the fear, Jesse. But only because you're believing in lies about it. Let, let the thoughts go, and you'll be fine. Stop judging yourself about it. And then the fear, and the fear and everything would disappear, right? I, I very much hope so. Yeah, do the sign of the prayer. Doubt every thought. You'll see all around you is well. You did what you had to do. Don't let Satan make it a big deal. Yeah, and uh, I, I wasn't really going to say this, but you were talking about the Second Amendment earlier, and the Second Amendment saved my life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they they want to take away guns from law-abiding citizens. Hell, a gun was the only thing that saved my life. So, since you action Colt revolver. So, David, since you know that, just relax and be grateful and move on with your life instead of, you know, tripping behind it. I have I have one more question, Jesse, and I'll, I'll try to make it brief. I know you don't have much time. All right. But this, this woman that she started messaging me out of nowhere, and we've been... We've been really hitting it off, and I'm, I'm really thinking that God might have sent me this woman for this purpose to help me get over this. Do you think that that's possible? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would. I don't know because I don't know the woman. I don't know her intent or any of that kind of stuff. But but be careful when I, because if a woman comes to save you, she may have a hidden agenda. Yeah. So just be careful with it and. Um, you you found this woman online? You say? No, I went to high, I went to high school with her, and she just so happened to reach out with me. We were good friends that haven't talked in a while, and she's been helping me with this a little bit. And well, just be careful what you tell her, because if she ever get mad at you about something, she can turn on you, and yeah, it, it wouldn't you, be a problem. So be careful the information you give her. Do you think that I should? Do you think that I should try and? See if it'll work out, or should I could just try to fix myself first before just I try anything like that? To see if what will work out? 
to see if she can help me out in any way, bring me closer to God, or or maybe just help this this these demons. Well, she can't bring you closer to God. You're already close no. to God. You just need to come out of your head. Stop judging yourself. Be careful with this woman because you end up in the wrong kind of relationship with her, and it'll be another mess. Right now, you don't need to, in, in the, if what you're saying is true or you're going through this stuff, you don't need to get involved with a woman right now. You're just going to create other problems for yourself. You're not in, in a condition to be saved by the woman. I think I think I might agree with you, Jesse. Yeah, so I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend it for you right now. Wait until you're free from all this thought and this mess you're going through. And God'll add a woman unto you if it's necessary. But you'll find yourself in a relationship with this woman and it won't turn out well for you at all. Hey Jesse. So you know, I, 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 I I really appreciate your time. Yeah, I will stay away from yeah, the woman right now, right? I will. Do the I'm going si to I'm I'm do the silent prayer. Yeah. And, and doubt every thought. you see all this well. Because you don't want to keep losing jobs and tripping because the more you believe those lies, the, the deeper you're going to find yourself sinking into darkness. And you don't want to do that. So get over this and move forward to life by doubting every thought. Be grateful that you are alive and be grateful that uh, it was self-defense. And just go live your life and doubt every thought, all right? Yes, sir. I'm going to try anything at this point. Yeah. Let me know how it goes, David. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll do the silent prayer for a few weeks, and I'll, I'll give you a call back. And all right. And just, doubt, an update on. and just doubt every thought, all right? If you have a self-defense, you haven't done anything wrong. Yes, sir. And... Thank you for taking my call. All right, let me know how it goes, all right? Yes, sir, I will. And don't make it a big deal. Just be grateful. Move on. God is with you. Yes, God is with me. Yeah, and this is Thank definitely you, not a time to get involved with a woman. You're not clear thinking right now. Yeah, I, I believe you're right, Jesse. I believe you're right. All right, let me know how it goes, gonna all right? Do, I'm going to do just like you said. All right, buddy. Have a good one, man. All right, bye. Amazing. When you're going through something, it's not the right time to get involved in a relationship, believe me. Especially with a woman because she's going to feel sorry for you. You're going to fire yourself with your head in her bosom. And it's going to be all hell. Come here, baby. Come to mama. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 